In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add interior doors to your space. You can see here that I have two doors in my house here, and they are open to the ceiling. Normally, when you look at a door, it's not open to the ceiling. So we need to make the frame for the door for our house. To start, you're going to measure the width of the door, and you can do that with a guideline, taking the tape measure tool and pulling a line across. And here you can see that mine is two feet, six inches. And I'm just gonna hit escape there. We're gonna have to make the opening for the door. Standard doors are six foot, eight inches. So I'm gonna pull a guideline from the floor up six foot, so six apostrophe space, eight inches and click enter. Doors can also be seven feet as well. It's up to you what size you'd like, but I'm gonna stick with six, eight. So now I'm gonna take my pencil tool and I'm going to cut across the edge of the wall from my guideline and cut across, in this case, on the red. And then I'm going to push the space bar and select the surface that I'm gonna pull across using the push pull tool. And I'm just gonna bring it so that it matches that edge. And I'm gonna delete the lines also on the back, right back here. And now I have a proper opening for my door. And I'm now I'm gonna look for an interior door. Interior doors can be found in the warehouse. Um, in your version of SketchUp, it will be a kind of a circular blue area up here. And if you mouse over it, it'll say 3D warehouse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that to get into the warehouse. And a good manufacturer is True Style. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the brands area where it says view all brands. And I'm gonna type in True Style Doors. It's T-R-U and then capital S-T-I-L-E. And I'm gonna hit enter. And here you'll find a lot of different types of doors. Doors are usually panels, so rails and styles, and the panel designs can be different. I think for mine, I'm just gonna go with a traditional door, probably like this one here. So I'm just gonna click it, and I guess they give me a couple different versions. I sort of like this. Now notice that there is a little green marking here, and what that means is that the door is a dynamic door, and you'll see why that's important in a minute. So I'm going to click the download and it's going to ask me if I want to download it directly into my model and I'm going to and here is my door. To access the different attributes or options available in the dynamic component, select the door, make sure it's blue and then right click and go down to dynamic components and select component options. Here you'll see the height and width that the door came into the model with. There's also other things here that you can change if you like. The door thickness is one. I usually stick with the default, but there are other thicknesses for the door. You can choose the material. This is a paintable MDF. It's a compressed fiberboard, but you could also pick wood. And if you change that, you just click apply and it'll change it to a wood color. I'm gonna leave it as MDF. And you can also pick the different sorts of panels that you want. So the panels are these four pieces inside the rail and style. The rail and style are the outside pieces and the, the flat pieces that go between the panels. And here I, I can select clear glass, frosted glass, and maybe for fun, I'll do frosted glass. There's also different panel styles if you're interested in that. And sticking refers to this interior piece that can be inside the panel. So I'm gonna pick frosted glass and I'm gonna click apply. And now I have a frosted glass panel door. I'm okay with that, but I do need to change the height and the width. The width is three feet and 
my door opening is only two feet six inches 36 inches is three feet and I want two and a half feet wide so I have to change that measurement to 30 inches so I'm going to change that to 30 quotes and I also need to change the height the height currently is set at seven feet but I want six foot eight inch and so I have to take away four inches so I'm going to just change that to 80 inches and then I'm going to click apply and one of the advantages of the dynamic door is it scales everything which is very different than if you use the scale tool here the scale tool can be used for most things but really these dynamic components is something new in the last few years for SketchUp it's a lot easier to scale things with it so I'm going to close this now and then I'm going to rotate my door I'm going to select the rotation tool and I'm going to click the up arrow so that it locks in the on the blue axis I'm going to click on top of the door I'm going to pull the arm out and then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and I can either type in 90 or if you look down here you can see that when we get to 90 degrees I can let that go now it's kind of in the wall but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my move tool and I'm just going to move that door into position and there is my door in my bedroom I'm just going to pull that forward to the inside part of the room because I want it to open into the room and that way the hinges can be on the left hand side so that's how you can add interior doors to your model